Hello, uh, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and uh, calculate the uh, cut and fill in the roadway section. When first you created your uh, um, roadway, uh, imagine you already have the, the uh, existing surface and you have created a profile. Then you want to know what this, the, uh, your cut and uh, fill section is going to be. And before you do that, you need to have two surfaces so you can com compare them. So if you have not created your uh, corridor's uh, surface, that's what we got to do first. And then we can go ahead and uh, uh, in a couple of simple steps, we can calculate the cut and fill. So go ahead to your uh, uh, prospector right here and try to find your uh, corridor. And if you go down here, you can see the corridor right here. And there's a plus sign next to it. Click on the plus sign. And that's the corridor that you have created it. Oops. There we go. And I have two corridors here. I'm going to go with the first one and click on the first with one of your corridors that you already have or have a name on it. And right uh, click it and then go to property. And then when you go to property, a new window opens up. In this new window, take a look at the tab up here and you have all kind of them. Uh, look at the, the click on the surface. And then when you click on the surface, go all the way to the left, these icon, and this left one says, uh, create corridor surface click that and once you have cleared corridor surface come back to this right here you got to specify for your code you're going to go from a top or you're going to go from pave or datum or sub base or whatever so we'll just go from the top for now and then once you do that make sure you click this plus and make sure you have this on your uh, screen if you don't have this it's not going to work so make sure you click plus and you have top then from here proceed go to the boundaries and when you click the boundaries right here, you should have this highlighted right here. Once you highlight this and right click it and hit add automatically. And what this does here based on your assembly that you created, you can go ahead and in this case, I'm going to create daylight and, uh, and I'm going to hit apply and it's going to say rebuild code the yes and okay. So now I have done that. I can go ahead and calculate it. Uh, just go ahead like from a home tab you can see all the tab up here go to your analyze and right here hit analyze tab and then come back here volume dashboard click on that this new window opens up take a look above right here and you can see these uh, icon up there hit this one that it says uh, create new volume surface so we're going to click that and this new window always opens up and there's a lot of good information here. You can spend some time and go around, see what they mean. And um, you can change the surface right here, change the name, say cut and fill calculation. And, uh, and uh, then you have a style. You can click on the style if you want. And uh, you can click edit. And look at all these options. I like to use triangle here. OK. And I'm going to hit OK. And then you're going to come down here, your base surface. It's really important to know the base surface. Your base surface is at beginning when you created your uh, uh, surface. So mine will be root 200 here. And I click OK. And the next one is going to be comparison surface. And that's the corridor we just created. So I'm going to click in and it's the corridor one. Yes, OK. And then you go down here, you have your cut factor and fill factor. And that's based on your soil mechanic if you took it based on your void ratio so these can be changed to a number that if you want you're going to click OK for now and uh, when you come up here you can see your cut and fill and there's my cut quantity and there's my fill quantity and there's a net comparison nothing to it have a good day